नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑफ इंडिया माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आर एन विश्वकर्मा एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ए आई जी सी क्वाय ट्वेल्व विच इज स्पेशल प्रोसेस कोटिंग प्रोसेस असेसमेंट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट ए आई ए जी सी क्यू आई सीरीज ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड देर आर लॉट मेनी स्टैंडर्ड्स आर देयर एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स आर प्राइमरली फॉर वेरियस स्पेशल प्रोसेसेस एंड देर आर डिफरेंट स्टैंडर्ड्स आर अवेलेबल and uh, this is a very exclusive kind of standards which requires uh, assessor's uh, qualification it needs to be qualified by the assessor to be eligible for conducting assessment for different kinds of standards so now let's understand what exactly is the standard that is aig cqi series of standards so when we talk about uh, this series of standard there are lot many standards are there we can see here three pictures of three of the standards This is CQI 27, which is for special process casting system assessment. So CQI 27 is for casting. CQI 29 is for bridging system assessment. CQI 15 is for welding system assessment. So in this way, there are different standards are there. Nine is for heat treatment. Eleven is for plating. And twelve, what we are exploring right now, is for coating system assessment. So when we talk about uh, AIAG, which stands for Automotive Industry Action Group. and uh, there are series of standards so cqi stands for continuous quality improvement so the standards aim to promote continuous quality improvement primarily in automotive supply chain because this is primarily applied in automotive supply chain but there are other companies also who are practicing since this is applicable cqi 12 is applicable for coating system assessment so other uh, companies who are not into the uh, automotive supply chain but still they want to avail the benefit of the standard they can still implement they can get assessed also and they can improve their processes and practices so the standard basically helps the organization achieve higher consistency reliability and customer satisfaction through quality improvement in their process of coating now talking about goal of cqi 12 so if you see the goal of cqi 12 it has uh, formally listed three goals this is 1 2 and 3 and if you understand iata 16949 in fact prior to that iso ts also all these goals are part of iata 16949 quality management system which applies to automotive organization okay so the same goals are also applicable for aig sqi series of standard that is continual improvement emphasize defect prevention and reduction of variation and waste in supply chain all these goals are also part of iit 16949 so talking about these three goals it talks about continual improvement so on a sustainable basis every processes and practices of the organization should go through some improvement on a recurring basis and it must be sustained that is what the intention and then defect prevention the organization shall be working on defect prevention rather than working on a reactive mode so prevention is the buzzword over here the focus is on prevention of defect okay and the third one is reduction of variation so indirectly it is talking about uh, six sigma not directly it is focusing on six sigma but uh, that is what the focus of six sigma also so reduction of variation and then elimination of waste in the supply chain this is primarily the goal of uh, lean manufacturing system also so indirectly the third goal talks about six sigma and lean practices okay so that is also going to help the organization to improve the process of coating now talking about the application of cqi 12 so there are lot many tables are there you can see over here starting from table a to table k lot many tables are there so depending upon the kind of processes you are carrying in your organization the assessor would be assessing relevant tables and the content of the table so there are different sections are there in the checklist given in the standards and in fact if you want to purchase original aig sqi series of standards you can contact quality hub india we are also providing original standards at a reasonable price so you can see over here table a contains pre treatment which is aqueous and then b also talks about pre treatment which is mechanical so in this way different different tables are there powder coating spray coating electro coat so different different tables are there and the standard contains a check sheet excel check sheet okay and every table will have detailed contents and there are lot many requirements are there which will be assessed by the assessor 
to see if you are complying to all those requirements or not. In fact, if you are looking for any assessment requirement or any training requirement in any Sequoia series of standard, you can contact us. We provide these services. So, whatever process tables we are looking over here, these are basically talking about uh, uh, process and test equipment requirements, then process monitoring frequencies which is also prescribed. So, lot many mandatory frequencies are mentioned for monitoring process and process efficiency. Okay. So, in process and final test frequency and test frequencies, all these are mentioned in the different tables. So, section 1 of the standard talks about management responsibility and quality planning. Section 2 of the standard talks about floor and material handling responsibility and all these sections covers lot many questions and uh, lot many requirements which needs to be assessed by the assessor which is given in the checklist. And wherever there are SAL requirement as we know as a part of quality management system, SAL means monetary requirements. Then we have job audit sections also. So, as a part of job audit, the assessor needs to conduct job audit, uh, picking job uh, at a relevant area the, uh, for which the process is being applied and covering the entire processes from uh, beginning to the end, all the processes must be covered by the assessor, minimum one product, you can cover more products also. Now, let us talk about assessor's qualification. So, if you want to become assessor for AIG CQI 12 that is coating system assessment, there are some monetary requirement prescribed by the standard. The first requirement talks about quality management system internal auditor qualification. So, you must be a qualified certified internal auditor for quality management system. If you want to conduct audit in automotive industry, then IATF 16949 auditors. Okay. The non-automotive industry, you can go for the relevant standard. For example, ISO 9001 which is a general quality management system standard. If this is applying to uh, maybe other industry, then uh, other standard would apply. But primarily since this applies to the automotive industry, then IATA 16949 internal auditor is a must. That is the first requirement. Second requirement is assessor self possess coating knowledge. And here there is a prescribed criteria for having minimum coating knowledge, which is five years of experience in coating or a combination of formal chemistry or chemical engineering education and coating experience, which means that either you must be having direct 5 years of experience into coating, that is fine, you qualify, beside qualifying to the other criteria, okay, one we have already discussed, third we are going to discuss, okay. So, when you talk about the expertise about the coating, minimum 5 years of experience you must be having. If you have gone through any chemical engineering or chemistry education, say for an example, you have gone through 4 years of degree program, okay, in engineering, chemical engineering, that means 4 years of experience is counted. Afterwards, if you are having 1 or 2 years of experience working in industry, then you are, you are complying to the requirement of minimum 5 years. So, this is how in totality, minimum 5 years of experience the person must be having who want to become eligible for conducting audit. Okay, or assessment. The third one is, this is very critical, assessor shall possess knowledge of automotive core tools, quality core tools. This is also a must because in lot many sections, lot many requirements are there which is prescribed pertaining to APQP, pertaining to SPC, pertaining to FMEA, control plan. Okay. So, if the assessor does not understand all these standards or the manuals or the guidelines or the requirements, then he would not be able to conduct audit. Okay, or assessment. Fine. So, six core tool we all know. What are the six core tool? APQP, third edition, the latest version. Control plan, first edition. PPA, fourth edition. MSA, fourth edition. SPC, second edition. And FMEA, AIG, VDA, first edition. Okay, published in first of June 2019. And this, uh, this one and this one got published in first of March 2024. Okay. So, a familiarity and a formal training program that would be also good okay, on six core tool. So, these are the three requirements to become an assessor. So, if you want to become assessor, Quality Hub India is the best place. We provide training program, we provide certification in all the three things. Okay. We have core tool courses also, we have courses on sequence series of various standards and we have courses on 
internal quality auditor for IS 9001, IIT 16949, AS 9100 and many more other standards. Now I will show you a glimpse of the standard, uh, in fact the content of the checklist, not the standard, we have a separate standard also. So the standard contains checklist also. So when you buy the original standard, you will be getting this uh, Excel checklist and you can see over here, the first sheet covers the cover sheet which, which talks about the basic elements of the, uh, the audit. Okay. So this needs to be filled in by the assessor. So you can see over here, this is the cover sheet. Okay. Then the next section is section 1 which talks about management responsibility and quality planning and this has a lot many questions. Okay. Each section has uh, questions and the question will have further elaboration. Then we have section 2 which talks about uh, material handling, material handling requirement and we have uh, some questions over here also, floor and material handling responsibility. Then section 3, we have a detailed guideline about uh, a temperature uniformity survey and uh, SAT also. So lot many requirement pertaining to thermocouple, how to control and other things. And then section 4 talks about job audit, finished product audit. That is also part of the assessment, okay. And we have uh, different, different tables. So, lot many tables are there which we have partially discussed. So, all needs to be understood by the assessor and whichever is relevant that needs to be audited, okay, at the soft floor, at the GEMBA by the auditor. So, this is a small introductory video on uh, giving you introduction about uh, AIGC QI 12 standard. I hope you must have got some idea about the standard and its applicability. If you want to become assessor, if you want to conduct formal training program to conduct assessment or uh, want to have familiarity for you and for your people or your employees uh, working in your organization or if you want to conduct a, a formal assessment of uh, your organization, we can support you. So, you can find our uh, contact number in the description box. And if you want to avail our other services like uh, ISO certification or any other training program or any business consulting requirement, you can contact us. So, thank you friends. Bye for now. See you next video. Jai Hind.